Well, as you know, I built a network called the Thrival CPA Network, um, and it is comprised of young, technical, um, tech-savvy, cloud-based, virtual CPAs really all over the world. So I met all of them online, and now they are some of our deepest friends. Uh, we have some of the most intimate relationships with them, and this, this week, actually, we're doing our annual uh, what we call a learning gathering. Thrival does a learning gathering in Greenville, South Carolina every year, and 40 to 50 come for an intimate conference, uh, and we just give them an experience and teach them so many new things, and we met them all online, which is amazing, and so now we're involved in a lot of coaching with them and things like that, so social media is, um, the importance is hard to, hard to fathom, hard to, uh, to fathom how important it is. Uh, if you're a young CPA, one thing, you need to begin following CPAs on Twitter because those are the people that are really focused on the future of how business will be done. And, you know, we're past the things you hear about social media where it's uh, social media is just networking online. And that's what it is. You network at a chamber, but chambers are no longer needed. Um, they were for the purpose of providing a community, so to speak, so people could go be somewhere together. Uh, it's all about building community and being with other people, and you can do that online. But the greatest thing about social media is most often it leads to face-to-face -face interaction, which is the greatest form of community. And, Bill, you know you and I have uh, built a strong relationship by meeting multiple times together in person, uh, but we met over social media. Um, so the stigma of will you meet a weirdo <laughs> And, and Bill, you did meet a weirdo when you met me, but uh, the stigma of that is now long gone. It's now the solid way you must do business. Um, and if you, you can choose not to, but that's how other people are doing it, and that's how they're growing their firm. So, uh, And you know, a few months ago, we made a move to become a virtual firm. So uh, I literally do not do any marketing except online now. And we're turning away clients um, uh, we can't take any more clients until January, is what we've told people. So clients are having to wait. So we do a lot of networking online. Um, we do a lot of different types of social media, too. I do a lot of writing. That really helps. Uh, our firm specifically serves the creative industries. And um, they are very trusting online. So it's a niche we serve that's very trusting. So that's helped us grow our firm. Uh, but I can write for specific creative um publications and things like that, or uh, creative blogs and people that are well-known. And from that, we can get clients almost every time I write an article, which is pretty amazing. So, um, And we coach everybody, do a lot of intimate-type trust-based coaching that changes lives. And it's, it's all done online. Um, we vet our clients through a, through a very, very detailed, long process, about a month, to get into our firm. That's all done online, uh, and it's just been an amazing thing. So, you know, I think the discussion of is social media important is kind of one we need to stop having, honestly. Um, we need to start figuring out, um, you know, why we're not doing that and what we fear, and um, are we putting blinders over our eyes about how business is done today? So it's different than it was five years ago. Five years from now, uh, it'll be vastly different again. So... Uh, maybe this is a warning uh, that if you don't get on the train, not of Twitter and Facebook, you know, it, we're not saying use a certain platform. We're saying um, build relationships globally now. Be committed to doing that because it is available to you and um, the platforms are there to allow you to do it. Um, so please do away with the fear and start learning the value of uh, meeting a lot of new people in many different cultures with many different new ideas um, that just allow you to grow and become a better professional. So uh, hopefully you can tell it's been life-changing for us. Uh, I did start on Twitter just to play around, but uh, it's just it, it's turned into something much more than I anticipated. Um, so now it's a, it's a way of life, so much so that I wanted to shut my firm down because we don't need a physical location anymore. We actually hired an employee. We're in South Carolina. We hired an employee in Colorado not long ago, and we've never met him. And uh, we, again, processes become important, and I'm going a little long, but I keep thinking of new things. 
Uh, we built a long hiring process. My wife, who's the firm administrator, built a long process to vet a person online, which is necessary uh, to implement a slower client onboarding process or a slower hiring process. Since you're not meeting face-to-face, um, meeting virtually on technology does take a little bit longer uh, to learn who they are, but that's fine. Just slow down and take your time. Uh, but, but gain the benefits of global influence uh, and you know a, a global pot of people you can pull from to hire. So um, really, more than just getting clients, we're now getting new friends, uh, new networking leads. We exclusively use a, um, uh, an investment firm that helps our clients out of Chicago. Met him on Twitter, and we were talking about cinnamon rolls. So I don't know, <laughs> but he's an awesome guy, and he serves our clients with just a, an amazing passion and love for them. And and that's what we require with anybody that serves our customers. So, um, so we're we're now attracting new people that want to work for us virtually. Uh, but you know that's you got to be the right person to do that. So, social media is um, it's just life changing. You know what it's done for us. It's amazing, and I hope you start learning the joys of uh, global interactions now instead of the. Uh, you know, the 20 or 30 um, people that surround your office building. It's, it'll change your life. So, Bill, uh, always great to know you and your disruption in our profession. Thanks for all you do, and thanks for the opportunity to share about social media. Take care. Hey, what's up, room full of nerds? Uh, my name's Greg Kite, a certified public accountant, master uh, of business administration, and uh, technology genius. Uh, I was asked to talk to you uh, briefly about how social media has helped me professionally. And there's uh, two main ways that it has done so. Uh, number one, through social media, I have been able to humiliate myself uh, publicly and repeatedly. Um, number two, uh, social media has been a way uh, where I have been able to put my strengths on display. I do. I. Uh, I. I uh, Twitter's my big thing. I, I. I throw out some Twitter jokes every day that have to do with accounting, um, and that's been, that's been really good. I've been hooked up with a lot of people, a lot of really cool people. That's the third thing. So. Regular public humiliation, strengths on display for the world, and uh, I've been able to plug in with cutting edge people across the country in our profession. Case in point, I met this guy named Bill Sheridan online. Uh, nobody really knows what he does, but apparently it has something to do with accounting and judging from his social media presence, he's really good at it. And now I know him. I know him to the point that he asks me to do stuff for free for him. Boom! What could be better for one's profession? So go out there, start tweeting, start facing booking, and, uh... Linking in and Pinteresting. Pin Pinterest. Thank you. You may resume your nerd class. <laughs>